Sis, you cannot be chasing men. In a world that celebrates masculine traits like strength and independence, it's very easy for us to lose sight or touch with our feminine, soft, and nurturing side. Now, embracing feminine energy is not rejecting those traits completely. It is about striking a balance. In this, I'm going to be talking an aspect of dating. Hey guys, join me on a journey as I share five masculine behaviors we need to put a stop to to embrace our feminine energy. Let's jump right into it. The first behavior we need to put a stop to is avoiding vulnerability. I cannot say this enough. We all understand or we all know how the male gender tries so hard to avoid being vulnerable now for us as women to embrace that feminine that soft energy you need to be vulnerable you need to let it go the masculine energy is about doing chasing logic you know there's so much strength in it you know you just want to mask all the pain mask it all up but the feminine energy, on the other hand, talks about relaxing, letting go, receiving. So if you want to receive, you have to let go. If you want to receive, you have to be vulnerable. Receive help. Ask for help. You're not weak. Sometimes you need to let the pain out. So you need to let it go. You need to be vulnerable. And it's not a sign of weakness. It doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you don't have things going for you. It just means... I'm saying the way I feel so you can help me. I'm telling you how I feel. I'm letting myself express my feelings. I'm letting you know how I feel so you can be there for me while I relax and receive the help. Good? The next behavior we need to put a stop to is over aggressiveness. Let me help you. We need to replace that aggressive communication style with understanding, assertiveness, diplomacy, so let me give you an instance. So um, you're not comfortable with something that your man did. You just always want to fight. There are ways to go about it. You can communicate in a different way and you still win. So say, hey, babe, do you think you could have done this differently? I really do not like how you made me feel the other time. Can we talk about it? You don't have to go, excuse me, sorry, I don't like it. No, don't tell me that. Da, 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 da. Mm -mm, mm. Ah, relax <laughs> relax sis like, sometimes you need to just win that fight in your very subtle calm diplomatic and understanding communication style got it good so the next behavior we need to put a stop to competitiveness at all costs let go of that need to always compete have a mindset shift. Embrace the mindset of collaboration, cooperation, partnership. It's not a competition. We're in a relationship. I'm not, I'm not competing with you. You're my partner for a reason. Like that word partner is there for a reason. Because I'm going to bring my efforts and you're going to bring your efforts. And together, we're going to make this partnership or this empire. We're going to make it work. So if you constantly have that competitive mindset, no, it's not feminine. I'm sorry. I know we might not like the truth, but we have to say it as it is. It is not a beautiful trait to look at. Always wanting to go log ahead with your partner, and then you are going, relax. Let's cooperate. Let's hold hands. Let's achieve things. Now, the moment you bring all of these traits on the table, and the person that you're bringing it on the table for is not liking it or is not making it happen. You can clearly understand that it's not me and I'm going to walk away. Like, bro, this is on you. So for now, relax. You don't have to be competitive every time. Just let it go. Okay? So the next behavior we're going to put a stop to is the constant need for control. You need to let go of that need to always control everything around you and everyone around you. 
need to be more flexible let the natural flow of life take its course you cannot always control everyone i know you're a boss babe i understand at your place of work you're a boss babe that's at the office the moment you get out of the office you're somebody's girlfriend wife sister mother relax and play that role you cannot always control everything sometimes just let it happen let it go let it flow just enjoy the process okay trust people trust yourself trust life and trust god that everything will work together for your good and the final behavior we are going to put a stop to like full final stop the need to always push you i understand that you're a go-getter but sis you cannot be chasing men you cannot be chasing men it's not a feminine thing to do men are natural chasers they love to chase so when you constantly so okay let's 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 talk about this when you chase the man and you get him what happens do you go to sleep of course you will not go to sleep you have to constantly do things to impress him now i want to let you know that it's not in your place to constantly do things to impress your man it's in his place to impress you so he sees you he likes you he wants to show you that he's good enough for you he wants to show you that he got you he can do this he has to impress you now you on the other hand you're chasing him you're planning dates did you you can pay his groom price they pay bride price for a reason they come to marry the wife for a reason so you cannot constantly be chasing yes you can see somebody and you like the person it's of course it's good it's fine there's no and some people it has worked for them but it's not a very feminine thing to do and i'm sorry but it's my opinion i'm sorry if this is not going to go well with some of you but it's not a feminine thing to do to chase even in your friendship circle you cannot always be the one planning dates you cannot always be the one planning things every time it is you 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 you're always chasing you're always pursuing you want relax let other people do it too let them take the lead and just follow because if you keep chasing at some point you will get really tired or be burnt out you'll be exhausted so understand the need to get things but sometimes understand that you are the price sis you are an actual price and somebody is going to bag you so enjoy your femininity now guys i hope you've enjoyed those five tips and i hope that we're going to put it to practice because it's one thing for me to sit here and just do all talk 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 then it's another thing for us to actually practice so if you want more tips let me know in the comment section oh i forgot sorry guys hi my name is jenny if you're just watching me for the first time and you just stumbled on my video please do not forget to subscribe on this channel we do real talk lifestyle and vlogs we really say things as it is 2024 we're going to be embracing our feminine energy and i'm speaking for myself too because just as you know i'm not gatekeeping any information this year i'm going to let you guys know how it's going so guys see you on my next video and whatever you want me to talk about let me know i'll see you guys next week bye